Every time I close my eyes, I can touch the colors around me. Suddenly, I realize everything I thought was impossible. with white it's amazing yeah, yeah. you look beautiful it's, it's and i was nervous i was like where we thought it but i seen the dress it's like i have to have it oh. you look absolutely fabulous so tell me about what um what the research looked like for your role in this movie and and, and what that meant for you and what did you do for it i mean i love like animals and i love like um a lot of work like that as far as I put into characters and it's funny you ask because I do love the work before the work and researching everyone from the Brazil uh, from Brazil and the tribal people to how that situation would happen me being turned in that century so um, that was very fun you know just to be able to to go back in history I'm a history nerd what was it like for you working in Baton Rouge with uh, Judy did you guys get really close Judy's fun. Judy's the best person to go shopping with. <laughs> She's awesome to shop with, so we were bad. We were, and then in Vancouver going to the malls and stuff, so it, it was a blessing to have. It's basically someone paid you to go with another girl who likes to shop. Nice. Well, that is nice. nice. What are you looking forward to from part one tonight? I'm looking for the whole thing. We literally shot the movie simultaneously, so it's just... Looking for it too. Oh, I wonder who that is. <laughs> uh oh, they're so fun. Yeah. So, how has this experience been for you? I mean, like, I know, is it has it been something like you just never could like see until you actually got here? I never, I never would have thought. I came from doing independent films, and and literally, um, the awesome casting director just felt. I, I don't know. It's just amazing to be here to work your craft on a medium like this. Now we know that you know Stephanie is the producer, of course. Now, did you get to work with her on set? And oh my gosh. what did that look like? I'm a crazy fan. I'm like an author girl. Like I'm literally everybody's like, oh, so and so, like Kristen um, Edward, yes. and I'm like Stephanie. Yeah. Oh. Me too. <laughs> like literally, I literally asked her several questions. I couldn't believe she was as gracious and awesome as she is. She literally, if you asked her a question, she was more than helpful. I'm a closet writer, so I was like, oh. So we should be looking out for something from you? That was a good one. Ah! We'll, see. we'll see one we'll day. See. Okay, well, thank you so much for your time. You look beautiful. Thank you very much. How do you pronounce it? Quilin. Quilin, okay. And um, you turn out to be kind of the hero of Breaking Down Part 2. How was that for you? Oh, it was amazing. It was breathtaking. And, and the past that's involved in our appearance in part two is fantastic, you know? It's kind of like the parting of the Red Seas when everybody stops and looks and who's there. It's another half human, half empire. And his aunt. <laughs> well, did you get to work with Stephanie Meyer at all? I didn't get to work with her. Um, I did meet her though and she's wonderful and amazing. She was in Video Village a lot, just watching everything and interesting. Yeah. So what is this um, premiere compared to other ones that you've been to? Nothing like it. <laughs> this is amazing, and I just love like keeping up with the fans and how they've been camped out here for days, and and just so excited about it. And it, you can feel the energy. You arrive here and you just feel the love. Now, have you seen the other movies or read the books? I have seen every movie like five times, and I've read the books, all of them. Yeah. Been, you got to work with JD the most, right? Yes, JD Pardo. He was my um, you know my other half, basically my nephew. But we got to work with everyone, and. In fact, we arrived, and the day we arrived, like we didn't even get to unpack. There was already a party going on, and that's where we met everyone. We like ran into Jamie, uh, Jamie Bauer, um, uh, in the in the bar, and he was like, "You guys should come to, to the party." And we we're like, "Okay." And we show up, and everybody's like, "Who are you?" And we we're like, "That's Leland and Nell." I was like, "Oh!" And then it was it was fantastic as a fan because I'm seeing all these faces, and I was like, "You must be Charlotte. You must be Mary. You must be like you know." I get into the movie like you, Judy, had a couple of those, so it's been so exactly. Fun. Yeah, Judy and I are great friends, and it was so fun meeting everybody on set and then coming back to LA and having a little family out here. Thank you.
Thank you so much. I died and